Hey Fire Signs, my name is Crystal. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is going to be a career reading or a business reading. I'm going to be using this new deck that I got. It's called Divine Feminine Entrepreneur. All right, this is for a spiritual or wellness-based business, these cards. So I'm going to do these ones first. And the other, the other part of the reading is not if you have your own business. It's just regular career reading. So if you guys want to scroll past this i'm just going to read like three of these yeah um move forward overcome your fear to take real action to move your business forward don't wait or justify step out of your comfort zone and take your next action step and then you have collaborate business can be lonely find lucrative ways to collaborate collaborate with others to build both of your brands and then you have offer identify the specific qualities of your real of your ideal client or customer and make solid no-brainer offers that they are happy to buy. Alrighty, I suck at reading. That's because I read really fast and I swear to God I can't I can't read slow and I can't talk slow. I know I speak really fast in my um reading, so sorry for that. You have imagine by the book and time to go. Okay, so, and then you have soulmates on the bottom of the deck. So even though this is a career reading, um, you guys might be walking away from something and a soulmate might be popping up, okay, because you're opening up a new door, right, by walking away from something else. You're making more room for something to come in. It can also mean maybe um, soulmates, maybe you're getting a new puppy. It's going to be your soulmate, your child, anything like that. Anyway, imagine, which is about, like, um, imagining what you want, um, picturing in your mind what it is that you want to accomplish, okay? So it's like uh, manifesting, you know, your dream life. Uh, you have by the book. I feel like you guys are already taking the steps to whatever it is that you guys need to um, do, right? I feel like you guys been um, doing things step by step, not rushing the process, taking your time. This is also an 11 card. New doors are opening up for you. And then you have time to go, which is 45. 4 plus 5 is 9, which is an ending. So you guys might be walking away from a career to go to something new. Or maybe you guys are slowly taking your steps to be able to walk away from something because it's not serving you anymore. Okay, but... um. Let's see. Your situation. You have the Ten of Swords. So you guys might be feeling like really stuck yet. Ten of Swords, the Hangman, and the Four of Pentacles. Wow. For your situation, you guys are feeling stuck. All right? Stuck. Drained, backstabbed. Maybe even people are like treating you bad at your job, at your work. Or maybe you're just feeling like you can't find a job. Feeling like there's no no action. Okay? Um, the Four of Pentacles is like really investing your time, energy, and, um, you know, learning more about things. It's like really focused on something and not letting something go. So since this is a career, maybe you guys are just putting a lot of time and energy into something that you're trying to make grow. But you're also feeling like something is stuck and stagnant. The Hangman and the Ten of Swords. And then the Time to Go card. So I feel like you guys are holding on to something. Um, and it's, you know... Even though I said the Four of Pentacles is about investing, it's also you guys are holding on to something that isn't serving you. You guys are feeling stuck and drained, just so tired. You're feeling like there's no movement. You guys also might be going through a spiritual spiritual awakening, seeing things from a different perspective. It's also um, with the hangman, it's like seeing things from the bigger picture, okay? So like looking above and like really seeing, like I said with the Imagine card in the hangman, seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing what's going to come in the future. Even though you have to walk away from something, just imagine what... What's waiting for you in the future? Is it worth it? You know what I mean? And it always is. I said, is it worth it? Yes. Six of Wands is your um, challenge card, though. So maybe you're having a hard time being recognized, a hard time um, having support. Maybe there's not a lot of people who support you. Maybe you don't have a lot of friends. Maybe you kind of stick to yourself with the Hangman and the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. You might be alone or somebody who kind of just deals, you know, on your own, deals with things on your own. Um, maybe you guys are having a hard time finding success, right? So... And when I said that the Ace of Swords pops out, this is like um, clarifying what I just said. So maybe you guys are feeling like you guys want to give up, right? Because nothing's moving, but never give up because you guys are taking the steps towards your dreams. Okay, so don't give up. If you guys give up, you'll never get it. But if you keep on pushing forward, you'll get there one day. The Ace of Swords is also like triumph. So and then the Six of Wands as well. This is like success. Okay, so whatever it is, it's going to be okay. Just you guys just got to keep on pushing through it in the future. The Magician and the Five of Pentacles. All right, so I do feel like you guys might be um, helping other people get out of the cold, right? Helping other people. Um, 
You can also be manifesting a new start, and now you're kind of fearing being left out in the cold, right, with the Five of Pentacles. You can also um, be having some type of financial um, struggle, so make sure you guys are watching your spending habits. Don't spend too much. Spend wisely. And you have the Magician for the Future, which is just saying every, you have all the skills that it is. You know, you have all the skills that you need to get yourself to what it is that you're trying to get, okay? So believe in yourself. Um, actions and advice is the full card. Try new things, you know. Also, don't jump into things too fast, okay, with the full card because he's kind of like carefree and just goes for it. I don't feel like you guys will do that, but, you know, it's the saying try new things. Um, try to explore more, learn more, um, you know. Maybe you guys are keeping yourself stuck in a box. It's like go out and explore. You learn things, you know what I mean? Learn more things. Go out more. The Page of Pentacles, learn more. <laughs> Study more. Maybe you guys are going back to school, okay? Buy the book, Page of Pentacles, okay? The Magician. I feel like you guys are learning a lot more, learning more about your abilities, learning more about your skills, you know, figuring more things out. Maybe you guys are figuring out stuff that was inside of you that you never realized that you guys had, right? And I feel like this is going to bring a lot of forward movement for you guys. The outcome is the Nine of Cups. That your wish is being granted. This is like everything that you work for is going to be worth it. Like I said, the nine of cups. It's like you guys are time to go, which is like the eight of cups, basically walking away from something that you know that no longer serves you to go to your ninth cup. And I feel like that's exactly what you guys are doing. The page of swords. This is also about like intuitiveness. It's also about puzzle solving and um, there also might be a lot of people watching you. All right. Or somebody might be watching you. Yeah, the eight of cups. Wasn't I just talking about the eight of cups? I was saying that, the Eight of Cups. You guys are walking away from things that no longer serve you in career, in family, in relationships, in friendships. It's like if it doesn't serve you and it's not bringing you any type of like happiness and it's holding you down and it's not worth it, I feel like you guys are just going to be walking away from like all this stuff that's holding you back. Three of Pentacles, rebuilding again. Okay, you might be working for the community. One more card. Ace of Pentacles. And then the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is just an ending of being hurt, allowing other people to hurt you, being the wounded warrior, being the victim, okay? There's no more of that. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. A brand new opportunity is popping up for you. I don't know if you guys are trying to open up your own business, manifest your own business, a spiritual business, right? But I feel like whatever you guys are trying to do, there is a brand new opportunity coming in for you. This is the luckiest card out of the whole entire deck, okay? I'm starting to speak too fast again. You got a lot of Pentacles here, so I do feel like for the future, okay? So I do feel like... and. and you're manifesting this. You guys are working really hard towards this. It's like even though you guys are feeling like things are being a little bit stagnant right now, don't give up, okay? Um, and things will get better for you guys. So that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. And toodles.